Hi, this is Mr. Zhang. Visa in Korea. Uh, I received several calls from previously did to visa holders, and right now they they have in the E7 that she won visa right now and working in her professional field. But uh, somebody said that uh, I really want to change F7, right? Outstanding and talent and the resident visa, and also my final goal is. Uh, to get the F5 permanent residence visa. So I will let you know the basic and the information. If you have a master's degree in Korea or a PhD degree from Korea, and I will let you know the, which kind of visa process is required to get F5 visa, right? So right now is uh, you got a master's and a PhD in Korea. Right now you have an E7-1 visa, right? At the uh, working at a professional field and want to change F to 7, the point system residency visa. Have a lot of benefit and you can work the most of the any kind of job except for the simple works, right? But anyway, and if you got an E7-1 and F to 7, right? If you got a master, you have to work more than, uh, you have to study more than three years including D10 and if you meet this requirement and the 80 point and you can apply for the F7 or I don't like to wait you know my masters and a course finished within two years right so I cannot read three years if you do that if you got an E7-1 visa and wait three years or 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 and if you were the previous your income is over 14 million won you don't need to wait until three years okay so if you do that you can change for that you can work two jobs no problem but the based on current rule the based on, based on the uh, presidential decree of the immigration law just allows after seven visa holders and uh, to work Right? Not run your own business. Works. So if you want to change the F5 visa, right? So if you got a master degree in Korea, I don't like to recommend you to apply for the F5 ten. If you got a PhD from Korea, I don't like to recommend you to apply for in preparation for the F515. The basic requirement is need three years from your graduation. So including your is 7 one visa period, including after seven visa period, if you stay more than three years and after E7-1, right? After D2 uh, and after the D10-1, and you can apply for that after three years from your graduation. And also, and um, you have to study Korean, KIP stage five completion, and the previous year's income shall be over GNI one-time income. How much was it? 37 point? Yes, 5 million won. And also one year the working as a permanent employment. Okay, this is a basic requirement. How about the FI15 and the PhD degree holder? The from Korea? Right, one year from your graduation, KIIP, no need, and GNI one time or two time, one time income, the same as F510, and one year permanent employment. Okay, but when you apply for the F5 visa or, or also, uh, also F27 visa, right? If there is any violation of immigration law or this criminal law in Korea. Uh, it'll be uh, deducted a certain huge uh, point. And also, depends on the situation, you cannot apply for the F5 permanent residency. So please kindly keep Korean immigration laws and other the relevant and the laws, okay? So you can do it if you follow our direction 
and also uh, if you well prepare for this and you can do that right so you have to try and also you have to make an effort to gain or to uh, and uh, reach your goal okay good so what do you do you can do it and everybody can do that if you to make a long-term plan and have to try and then you get finally get f5 without effort and cannot get anything uh, i know the one word in spanish no trabajo do dinero right it's good at it right no pain no gain it means if you try you have a good effort if you do what is that good result to the reach you will go do your best every time so if you have any questions for the f5 10 and f5 15 and also um f to 7 right you may contact you Mr. Zhang's cell phone number and zero one zero six three eight three and three zero seven eight. So you can contact me and please and a call and just introduce your name. If somebody just call me, they say that I want to ask you something. Do I have to do? Okay, polite. It's very. A politeness is a very, very powerful and weapon, right? Is that we need etiquette, okay? Anyway, when you call me, just let me know. I am a Mr. Zhang. I want to ask you something. Is it okay? Politely asking. Wow. Open my knowledge to you. Okay, see you next time. This is Mr. Zhang, Visa in Korea. Bye-bye.